This must be a first intercontinental hyperloop that will take us from downtown elite city, Illatopia to a capital city in another country on the other side of the world. We even bring our cars and we do have our passports and international driving permits. You must have already notified the teammates and family of the round trip getaway. The ride lasts 2 to 3 hours and we'll head to a country that starts with letter K. We will tell you what it is once we arrive at the destination. This is a non-stop trip. I also notified Catherine, Chris, and the parents ahead of time too. The weather over there is going to be sunny and warm tomorrow with temperatures reaching 24 Celsius and clear and cold tonight with low of 2 to 3 Celsius with risk of frost inland. The place embraced a heavy thunder shower as there was a severe thunderstorm warning and a severe thunderstorm watch just 8 hours ago and at one point a tornado warning and tornado watch further north plus a tornado emergency and a flash flood emergency just to the furthest north. For some reason my watch says 11 p.m. Monday the 29th, while on my phone it is 8 o'clock in the morning. On Tuesday, 30th of April, 2019, 12.5 Elite Metric Time, 300 Tracks Time, Elite Year 1019, Elite Date 119, Signum, Omnizit Ninja Delta 20 East Best C, Delta 10 East DC, 7059 East MD Millennium, 370, 301 East MD Millennium. We just no cleared customs and we must be in another country after going through two and one half hours through the hyperloop from downtown elite city, Elotopia. Yes, which country are we in? We are in country of Kanbordi Republic. We are in Kanbordi city. Now our cars are en route in on the way. In the meantime, on the Kanbordi calendar it is PKH, 30 Snivy, KP14, and tomorrow is Reissue, Servine the 1st, Conier 14 in which it's Wednesday, May 1st, 2019. The month and weekday names are named after a Pokemon in which you unheard of.
Please be advised it is nearing midnight in Japan and it is approaching the end of Hisei era and the start of Rewa era. Just in the final Dino Choi or under 90 seconds. Slated to occur at 2000 RKT, 100 KKT, 1100 Elite City, 62.5 EMT, 1500 TRX. I am wondering which channel does it cover competitive gaming? I have seen the TV guide on my phone, but which channel at the hotel? Channel 72.1 cable, but it won't air until 8.30. You better wait 30 minutes. Now either Pokemon Logical on Canbordian Broadcast TV service, or RDK3000 TriStar today on RDK3000 TriStar Television Sub Channel 12.3 Elite City Feed? I would say Pokemon Logical. Does the television have pick and pick mode? Yes. Have the main on RDK3000 TriStar today and left audio while the PIP and right audio on Pokemon Logical. Downtown Canbordy City is quite beautiful at sunset while the sun sets behind the Skikrapers. What a picture perfect evening. Got the scenic pic and will share with Kath Oh my, the crowds below. Must be a local celebration of Rewa era. Eat the countdown, 1959 and 40 seconds. Must be final seconds to midnight in Japan. Final Kanbo minute. 10. 9. 8. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy Rewater! What the this is did the fireworks just went off outside? Yes! What the this is with the fireworks? It's the start of Rewater. Even RDK3000 Tristar today just mentioning the subject on the television. We'll devote a half hour concerning Heisei era in review in Japan that is coming up in 30 minutes, 50 decimutes or two joys. There are also reported celebrations. This better be Chris Nils with his new dog. I just got off the phone with him a minute ago. I just received a new text message on my phone too from Mark. Must answer the door. Whiskers, you stay put. Hello Catherine. Happy Rewa era. Japantown in Elite City's north end is sure as busy with people rushing in Rewa era. Also I have an early birthday present for you. Oh my. Thank you. Whiskers would love this. Her new cat bed. Yes, also I just got a new dog. His name is Rover and he is 2 years old, 14 in dog years. His birthday was 2 weeks ago. I love dogs. As much as I love cats. Whiskers would gonna be dire friends with Rover. Is that correct, Rover and Whiskers? We go live to Tokyo, Japan, and if you look first we want to take you immediately to Kimbordi City in which there is a sudden celebration just on the way to Usher in Raiwa era.
fireworks again? That's the second time just tonight. I wonder what is the current time. It is 12 o'clock midnight on May 1st, 2019. New Year isn't for 8 more months. Pardon my watch and smartphone alarm. It is the start of Servine Month. Canboard EEI in year 14. They do this at the end of every month especially on March 31st, June 30th, September 30th and New Year's Eve, December 31st in which it's consist of most importance. We better disregard the subject outside and have to wake up at 0600 this morning. Let's get some sleep. Wear ear cancelling headphones to soft music or white noise if needed. I seem to know this district before on various media outlets. Yes. I even saw the information sign for Pachifico just 62 kilometers away. This must be a district that starts with a letter R. It is Robloxia. We are on Rotoban 76 in which it acts as a multi-inter-multiverse highway route 76. To the rear is Gmodia as it became motorway 76, and down the route it splits two ways one goes to world of Gaia route G76, leading to Gambino Islands and another leads to another district in which we will explain later. Here is our DKTSR. Okay, now gonna head to the Rotoban exit to Critter City and head back to the RDK 3000 TriStar Roblox Tower. Must be some foreigners on the freeway. They even do have international driving permits as I just glanced. OMG. Team K Gaming from Elite City Metro Elitopia. Along with a super fan. I first heard of this on the television in past several months. <laughs> Jesus. Gone kid. For the sake of God and the Lord, please move the vehicle immediately. This area is reserved for RDK 3000 TriStar vehicles only. You can park on the rear of the building. The PHEV battery is low despite I just got some fuel a couple minutes ago and the engine kicked in along the route and the system went into HV mode once the EV range gets depleted and I have to use the charger. I didn't know there is four EV chargers outside, three of which is used for visitors and one in VIP parking. I am going to move the vehicle now. Thank you. Well, I do remember them I have seen them in Kanbordi Republic once I was driving to Kankip headquarters just the previous day. No wonder if they went to Kanbordi City, Kanbordi Republic from Elite City, Illitopia in a few hours. I do mention the Hyperloop in the news just recently. Then they went to Kanbordi City International Airport to head to Robloxia. Too bad I was on a different plane just earlier than the time of their flight departure. This must be Kankip's car just next to mine. I have seen him once we went past the Kankip headquarters just 24 plus hours ago. He must have a dual nationality citizenship. Yes. And this must be the RDK 3000 TriStar Roblox Tower. I just see RDK TSR through the translucent window pane in his car too. Yes, the tower is quite very tall. 
This is Jinx Radio International Robloxia broadcasting from Spark City, RJ and RFM 95.5 and HD1 also on 640 on BM dial plus DAB, shortwave 9600 kilowatts, long wave 132 kilowatts and satellite radio on selected providers. This station is solely responsible for its content and is owned by Jinx Enterprises Incorporated. With its bureaus across Robloxia and elsewhere and the flagship headquarters in downtown Elite City, Federal District, Elitopia. This is Jinx News Radio. I am Linda McDonald broadcasting live from Jinx News Line at the flagship headquarters in downtown Elite City. Here's the top stories this hour. Developing story, Roblox. Bloxburg has been hijacked converting to an X-rated place then to a Robux place that prompting an emergency revert before place got shut down. Pinewood Computer Core has gotten featured as the place was featured on Virtual World Today on its international debut on Jinx Television. Gary's Mod, April 2019 update has been released. We check into what is new in the release and do comparisons. Exclusive, an inside look at Game Jam Convention 2019 at Zendome in Elite City Metro in the press preview on day one. The top story for today. We are following a developing story from Robloxia in which Bloxburg has been shut down by Roblox after it was hijacked overnight. Some group similar to Project Zongo has claimed responsibility for the incident. The place was hijacked along with the group as the place was converted to a X-rated place that is sure a violation of the platform's TOS with a place title change to have nasty then the three letter S word then the word fun. It was changed two to three hours later to a Robux place with a place title and description that we cannot say on the air in compliance to Code of Conduct of Jinx Enterprises Inc. It consists of a obby in which also includes a phishing GUI in which it's a severe violation of the platform TOS. Some users has gotten hacked like a dozen fall victim to the incident while many others stayed away and alerted the developers of this. The place got reverted just one to two hours later as the developers made an emergency revert but it was too late. The place got shut down just 15 minutes later and the group got shut down by Roblox and the developers terminated. Users were shocked of the news and turned to Twitter, YouTube etc. to share their remarks. We go live with Becky with more on the reaction and how it unfolded. Oh my lord. That explains the police blocking the off-ramp to Bloxburg just 250 kilometers away. At first I wonder what was going on then I heard the report on the radio. I never heard of the place before. Too bad it got seized by the authorities. Me either. I am also shocked of this news. We initially planned to head to Bloxburg, but thanks to the incident plus the event mentioned on the radio slated to occur later on today, we will have to rear out and head home in a matter of minutes. Whoops. Forgot to turn off the car as I heard the car radio tuned to Jinx Radio International Robloxia. I will need to head to administration office immediately to check into this in detail. I need to check into the subject mentioned on my pocket radio as I have to check the latest developments on my phone. <laughs> The developments are quite shocking. Unfortunately once I get a hold of the developers including through social media plus had to telephone the fellas at the main HQ plus the RDK 3000 TriStar G mod, Habo, Gaia, Minecraft, and SL bureaus the developers cannot be reached because their handles on social media has been suspended indefinitely and video channel accounts deleted plus their group has gotten axed and the developers facing the ban hammer. Their Discord server has been shut down plus their Discord handles has gotten banned too. 
Even Bloxy News has been tweeting on this plus that has gotten retweeted by KBN in Canbordi City plus ELN24 and VWT social media handles. That is sure a decent extreme gaming computer even a decent gaming desk setup plus a skinned gaming chair. Yes. That is sure one of my dream setup. Mine too. I would definitely want this, but perhaps on my birthday next month. Please be advised of usage of this computer is restricted as there are confidential content that you do not want to see plus some apps are PIN protected. Yes, we do not want the critical settings and data to be changed, altered, or tampered with that would set off the sirens and alarms. Anyhow on this wall you should note the clocks as it shows the RDK 3000 TriStar clock time and that is time at the flagship HQ in the ELC. A few multi-clocks plus clocks for elite metric time and tracks time is also shown also RKT time in which you probably heard of in your recent trip to Canbordi City. It is currently 10.02 RDK time, 14.03 TRX and 58.4 EMT on May 2nd, 2019. This reminds me that we have to get back home before 1400 hours for the convention. It starts in less than 4 hours. <laughs> Okay, we are at the midpoint and there is something outside that you like to see. Yes, let's go outside to check it out. Oh my god. A train. Where does this train go to? I have never ridden on a train before. Let's hop abroad and we'll head where it goes to. Do be careful when you hop abroad the train and please remain seated until arriving at the station along the route. Watch your step though. Kankip, you escort them to the seats and guide them of the elements while I operate the train. Okay, Ralph, Mark, Stefan. To Railcar Alpha. Also please read the signage and brochures that I will hand out regarding the rules on the train plus procedures in an event of an emergency. Now this is the RDK 3000 TriStar Computer Core. This is among a bunch of them in Robloxia. Please be careful while entering the facility and make sure you wear some goggles when at the facility. Core temperature is stable at the freezing point. Any switch activation result in temperatures to increase or decrease that will trigger a meltdown or freeze up or switch on the generators or cut the power to the core or an instant meltdown. Also to note there is high level of radiation behind this multi-pane titanium glass that sure is deadly within seconds unless personnel is wearing a radiation suit. That section is restricted to authorized personnel only and there is a hidden entrance to it that is PIN protected. There is a backup generator that is shown here. This is activated via switch at the maintenance room plus via remote on the computer at the administration office at the tower that we just went moments ago. We are now at the mainframe area. It is a bit cold here even Gonkip is shivering as the core temperature is currently at the freezing point of 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 0 temptos on the EMTS temperature scale whereas 1000 is the boiling point in which is 100 degrees Celsius. I am cold. Hand me my thermal blanket, RDKTSR. Sorry, it's in my car that is parked at the tower. I seem to know this as I seem some similar facilities including the flagship one at Pinewood Builders concerning Pinewood Computer Core as I watched the subjects on television and YouTube. Innovation Research Lab 2. Yes. This is my first time in the Computer Core. It is my first visit too. In fact, I have been actively logging the database of numerous Computer Cores in Robloxia and a confirmed one in Minecraft and quite a few probable ones elsewhere including a private one in CS, Go, Call of Duty, Fortnite. And Gary's mod and maybe one in either Second Life or Sansir but I don't know. I even seen one just opening up in southwestern Elitopia in a remote area bordering northwestern Xenopolia. I do know the first code, 5, 3, 3, 4, 1, 1, 8 gonna enter the code. I don't know on the second. Yes. I got that right. Now let's see. Maybe next Christmas? In year month day format? 2019, 12, 25? Do be careful. We do not want to be killed. This may be a wrong code. For the love of God please do not under any circumstances do it in the name of the Lord. You will instantly trigger a meltdown if you do. Yes, don't even think of doing this. Even though the code here are incorrect as it changes every day, you better think twice about this. I do apologize on this. I am sorry for such attempt. It is okay. Apologies accepted. 
Just don't do it again. Just to add there that there is a computer core just to the furthest west down Rotoband 76 that will become in turn multi-metaverse Route 76 that will branch off one leads to World of Gaia and another to another country if you keep straight you will notice an island that is now an international territory in international waters that used to be part of Robloxia thanks to a recent hurricane and tornado that made it inhabitable as the island was evacuated. It lies just several kilometers to an adjacent country's exclusive economic zone and dozens more to the international boundary. It is a 2-3 hour drive from here on Rotoband 76. Let's head to the rally track. Okay this is the rally track. We have to use our cars, Mark, Ralph, and Steven. You race in your cars, please ensure you carry your helmets. Kankip, you go to your gone kit mobile. Your helmet is in the hatch area, while I head to my 2020 Z-Rex PHEV Multifuel RDK Mobile Cross Blue Turbo and start the hybrid system and switch on sport mode and all-wheel drive. You ready? Ready. Locked and loaded. Game on. I. I am ready. Let's start the 5 second countdown, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, let's begin. Oh my, time, Ralph, Steven, we have to abort and head back to the Rotoban 76 to head back home. We have to blast through the wooden fence straight ahead. This route leads to the freeway. We will check out the computer core on the way on the furthest west. We better refuel first but we are good on charge as our vehicles were fully charged at time we head to the rally track. Yes, let's go. Me three. Apologies for the damage to the wooden fence but seriously we have to go. Nice work, 4 minutes and 25.634 seconds. A new RDK 3000 tri-star record. Can't it? You sure are a tough rally race driver. Now where did Mark, Ralph, and Steven go? I hate to say this but they have to get going as they have to rush back home. They do acknowledge the damage to the wooden fence once they exit and they have since apologized. This from a phone call as I just went off the phone with the fellows. Do not worry, I will cover the costs of the repairs or replacement. Thank you, have it repaired ASAP. <laughs> This must be some sort of computer core, and it is definitely not Pinwood Computer Core, Innovation Research Inc. or numerous others. This computer core is still operational, but it is left vacant for a week. This on a remote island just off Robloxia's western side just 700 kilometers away. This also just a few nautical miles away from the exclusive economic zone of another country. This area has gotten severely battered in the past week by a earliest Category 5 hurricane. This computer core has survived the 340 km per hour winds even a powerful F5 tornado with winds of 600 km per hour that spawned from the hurricane plus severe flooding. This area has become inhabitable thanks to the storm and it is now believed into the international waters subject to international treaty however this place do still have electricity but running on a generator that will last a further 48 hours. Oh my! Core is overheating and is dangerously close to meltdown. Speaking of Rotoban 76 aka Inter Multi Multiverse Route 76. The freeway splits both ways, one goes right aka Route 76 a while one goes straight. Route 76 leads to this computer core and further that away becomes Intercontinental Route 76 in which splits both ways one becomes Intercontinental Route 75 leading to Xenopolia while the Route 76 becomes Motorway 76 that leads to Democratic Republic of Illatopia toward Elite City and Federal District. The meltdown process lasts a whopping 60 minutes in which we have enough time to head back home while being far far away. It's just went into meltdown just now. To the vehicles fast. We have to go top speed for 300 kilometers.
We just made it to Illatopia's west coast and we just cleared of customs as we have declared nothing but a few commons in which it is permitted under Illatopian law. 30 minutes ahead of time 2 THX to the sudden hyperloop within the first 50 kilometers. Elite City Metro is just 25 kilometers ahead and it is nearing 1330 hours and we'll arrive by 1345 once we head downtown. We have to stop at Zen Dome for a gaming convention that starts at that time. Yes, and it is mandatory that Team K Gaming must be present as we do not want to be late. Thankfully traffic is light and we could arrive early. Into downtown Elite City heading to Zen Dome, we just went off motorway 76 and into Cryptor Street just past RDK 3000 Tristar Main HQ and just past my residence. This must be Catherine who is just following me along with Whiskers in her SUV. It is about time that Mark Zanils is back in Elite City Metro District. The pic he took just the past few nights are amazing as it's a pic of a sunset of Carnbody City on International Getaway. Also high definition too and it has been hung on a picture frame just on the wall. The parents even love this. The pic is so lovely. Mark Zanils must be a great photographer. He must have used the techniques as we took scenic pics in past years even on our 25th anniversary. Yes. Even the setting he used, it is pretty decent looking and romantic too. It is nearing 2 p.m. and the convention is the start. We are in our booth. Yes, Team K Gaming is sure to make a grand debut at the convention. Yes. Even I am now officially part of Team K Gaming. I can't wait to compete in competitive gaming as I have been practicing numerous hours per week. I hear the chimes. Must be nearing 1400. Oh my. I must not forget the place we went to just an hour ago. Just 360 kilometers away. The place will explode imminently however blast range is quite limited to 20 kilometers plus the radiation effect only 100 kilometers with west wind will blow it away. The audible however can be heard through downtown elite city and the eastern third of Illatopia. This sure will be loud. Wear the special headsets, Team K Gaming. In. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Whatever that was, it was a very loud boomer that was unexpected. 
We are determining the source and we'll tell you once we learn more. I am Mike Z Cryptor and this is Christina a Cryptor from our main headquarters in Elite City. We are also in active contact with the authorities in the Phallus at ELN24, EBN and CHQ, SRJN Star, stand by. That sure is loud and indeed. This has since triggered alarm bells and the RDK3000 high star sirens that must indicate an alert and the newsroom buzzers just went off inside a Katie with potential breaking news story. Stand by for official announcement via the emergency alert system. This is the RDK TSR Alert 3000 Deluxe. A civil emergency message has just been issued by the emergency management of Utopia, expiring in 15 minutes, one short, or 25 death sea needs for Elite City metro area. This is an information statement. No action is required. This is an audio message. Please listen to the message carefully. The message is coming from the emergency management of Elitopia, especially for residents and tourists of Elite City. Your attention please. Your attention please there has been a reactor blast just offshore away from the Elitopia's exclusive economic zone on a small island just 360 kilometers or 900 kinonitros away originated from another country. The blast area has just capped at 20 kilometers or 50 kinonitros and the radiation radius of 100 kilometers or 250 kinonitros in which it will not affect land. I repeat, it will not affect land. The west winds will blow the radiation further this offshore. This is Sinto However, motorway 76 due to a event a minute ago. The, the game way is being closed by Alitopia as it is now slated to start at 3 being post PM or 1500 hours today. Media outlets for further Please information feel free and updates. to wander around. There is no danger to Elite City. However, participants must report back to Elite City for 2 50 PM or 14 50 hours sharp. No exceptions. Yeesh. Such sudden 60 minute delay. Now is a good time to check into other competitive gaming teams and chat along with game developers and companies. We must report back in less than 50 minutes. Yes. First off is Team Rockstar and Team Code Red in which they have a present for us on our second anniversary. Yes, and an early birthday gift for me as my birthday is tomorrow as I will turn 25. Catherine's birthday was yesterday as she turned 28. My parents' 30th wedding anniversary is on the 4th in which it is also Star Wars Day. I will also have to check my phone for any breaking news on the subject including social media while at it. It seems to have affected the stocks in a particular region, down 10% while the ECSX and Illitodak has surged 4% to yet another record intraday high. Must be strong earnings that helped fuel the stock market rally. Yes, however Whiskers was frightened of the blast but I coached her to calm down. I have a special late anniversary gift for Team K Gaming and an early birthday gift for you Mark. It's the brand new extreme gaming computers, gaming chairs and gaming accessories. Oh my god, thank you. Thanks! Thank you, game on, Catherine Zanios. You are most welcome, Mark Stephen Ralph and TKG.
This is Virtual World Tonight. I am your new host, Melissa Katzenchen from CHQ, along with Andrew from Star and Mark from SRJ. Before we go to a feature story, bear in mind we are awaiting an exclusive interview and a first on Virtual World Tonight with Team K Gaming over at the Game and Convention into its second day where they gets interviewed by our fellas at RDK3000 TriStar. Even my brothers are sure getting pumped up for this. The interview takes place soon as we will begin its Silum cast with the RDK3000 TriStar television service. Now onto a feature story concerning Sensor in which it is developed by the same makers, who also make Second Life, Linden Lab in which it's more devoted to virtual reality. One thing comes from the virtual world platform that inspires virtual world tonight that gets us engaged to do a feature concerning how Sensor differs from Second Life. Now as it states, based on the rankings of Second Life and Sansor among its competitors in the rest including Roblox, Minecraft, Gary's Mod in which Sansor has ranked in. Hold on. The producer just told us that we need to take you to the sign hill cast of RDK3000 TriStar Television Service in which Mike Z Cryptor and Christina Cryptor will interview the key people in Team K Gaming as we will listen in. <laughs> Welcome back to a special edition of RDK3000 TriStar Today. I am Mike Z Cryptor and this is Christina Acryptor at Studio Z64 from our headquarters at downtown Elite City. We would like to give a warm welcome to the viewers from Virtual World Tonight as CHQ, SRJ and Star especially gamers, even competitive gamers and fans who just tuned to the newscast even at Zendome and our fellas at Jinx Television International 2 and our affiliate Game TV, EGMR TV Channels 20.1. 20.2 and 20.4 Digital Plus its cable only channel Gamer TV. Now they are the big stars going for the 100th win in the series at the Game Jam Esports Beta 2019 in which is a part of series of the broader event as it is held every quarter with the upcoming one, slated to kick off next week. They are the almighty king in competitive gaming. It's Team K Gaming. We are going to interview them in the RDK3000 TriStar exclusive and a first on national and international television. They even have a newcomer Mark Zaniels who recently joined just in the past several weeks. The captain of the team is Steven Sanders along with his sidekick Ralph Katzenschen in which his sister Melissa Katzenschen who made her debut at Virtual World Tonight minutes ago along with the introduction at Virtual World Today hours prior. We are going to interview them on various subjects including the blast yesterday afternoon, the convention, and their excitement on the event next week. Mark, Stefan and Ralph, your team is really hype on Melissa on VW2 and even Ralph is excited. Your thoughts on this? Yes, she is indeed doing a great job at VW2N. Team K Gaming wishes her a good luck over at VWT and VW2N and hope for the best. And for you Melissa, who is listening to this, good work on the success so far. Keep it up. Game on, Melissa. Yes! She is sure doing so far. I can't wait for her to cover the event next week for VWT and VW2N as we plan a royal welcome for her on day 1 and pre-event party hours prior. Yes. Even as I recently joined Team K Gaming and eager to participate in the convention, plus practicing and preparing for the event next week. In my view, Melissa seems handsome as my bro Chris Zaniels aka Chris C. Cryptor who is at RDK3000 TriStar as part of the extended newscast. They surely are hot.
in which as far as I know, some Canbordy gamers sure are fans and they can't wait to head to the Hyperloop to downtown Elite City for the event. Save some money, it costs like 900 to 1200 Canbordy EIN credits to travel the Hyperloop for a two and a half hour ride. What with the pagers? Is one of the production crew a firefighter that just got a fire call? Is it a fire alarm that just went off at RDK 3000 TriStar? What with the sirens too through the studio microphone to our headsets? Those are not fire alarms, pagers or sirens. Our RDK terminals has went off and our call siren has been activated plus the alarms that has sounded regarding an alert we just received. We are terribly sorry but we have to let you go and the fellas at Game TV News will pick up where we left off. We do apologize on the sudden alarm here at RDK 3000 TriStar and it's a good thing that the news anchors of Game TV News are on site ready to take over the interview so for you gamers who want to continue watching within Elite City Metro, channels 20.1, 20.2 or 20.3 immediately, cable, satellite and fiber TV viewers, channel 21, elsewhere, please check local listings. In the meantime we have some serious breaking news to report and in which also CHQ, SRJ and STAR also received the alarm. The news is told by Andrew James, Mark J. Phelps and Melissa Katzenshin that they need to cut in short for Virtual World tonight and they'll be back for the show tomorrow for the weekend edition. Melissa will carry off the coverage on CHQ television. Susan Daniels will take it over from Star 2000 with a star alert while Mark J. Phelps has just joined with Tracy Phelps will host their coverage on SRJ television. For you Virtual World Tonight viewers we want to say goodbye to our viewers however and for those at Game TV 2 we want to say goodbye as well. And for you RDK 3000 TriStar TV viewers, stand by for breaking news in the RDK 3000 TriStar alert. I am Susan Daniels from Star News News Center at Star 2000 headquarters in downtown Elite City. We want to apologize for our virtual world tonight viewers but due to the nature of the news event, the VW2N producers had to cut the show short to devote coverage of the breaking story and they will be back tomorrow for the weekend edition. In the meantime we have breaking news to report from Roblox and social media and this involves Twitter as you heard the alarms at RDK 3000 Trista moments ago during the interruption of Team K gaming interview that is now live on Game TV. Roblox Twitter handle has reached 1 million Twitter followers as a tweet that was just posted at the initial seconds of 6.38 p.m. Elite City this evening. However announcement from Roblox itself will be expected soon. Bloxy News, an independent Roblox news source not affiliated with Roblox Corporation broke the news first on Twitter. In which as far as I know, some Canbordy gamers sure are fans and they can't wait to head to the Hyperloop to downtown Elite City for the event. Save some money, it costs like 900 to 1200 Canbordy EIN credits to travel the Hyperloop for a two and a half hour ride. What with the pagers? Is one of the production crew a firefighter that just got a fire call? Yes! And we are back. This is Game TV and I am Zen Sanders, and this is Smith Race Tower broadcasting live and direct from Gamer TV Studios in downtown Elite City. It is about time that we break away on time from Virtual World tonight due to the dreaded alarms at RDK 3000 TriStar that sure is your rape. Yes, of course we will pick up the interview where it let off from RDK 3000 TriStar once Mike and Christina was talking to Team K Gaming on the subject of the Hyperloop when it was interrupted due to an alarm. That will be coming up in a minute, but first we just got this development in from our affiliate RDK3000 TriStar, CHQ, SRJ and Star in which on Twitter. Bloxy News has announced that the Roblox Twitter handle has reached 1 million gamers. That sure is exciting to reach the milestone. Indeed, 1 million gamers. That is the same number of personnel that who will be attending Game Jam Gaming Convention this weekend after a record turnout just in the first two days. Tomorrow will be day 3, and the event is always held at Zen Dome. That is also the place for the Game Jam Esports Beta 2019 that will take place in one week from tonight, and we want to take you immediately to Zen Dome where we meet Team K Gaming on Game TV with Ralph Katzenschen, Mark Zaniels and its captain Steven Zanders. 
Continuing on the interview, where RTK3000 Tristar was discussing before it got interrupted by the dreadful alarm that sure is your rape, concerning Hyperloop that takes from here to Canbordi City, why it costs like up to 1,200 Canbordian credits and which converts to 16 Elias. It sure is a tad expensive due to the fact the technology is quite new but over time prices will at least drop making travel to be cheaper, also to factor in the sales tax to the price. They do offer discounts up to 60% for special occasions like we just heard just now regarding a 50% discount just for the convention and the event for May of 2019 that will cost 600 Kanbord EIN. Credits or 8 Elios. They can save even further if they multipack for 3 or 4 people or even more to as low as 400 Kanbord EIN credits or 4 Elios to 270 Kanbord EIN credits at one offer if they are fans of us. Team K Gaming that is the equivalent to 3 Elios, 60 Elio cents. Want to continue watching within Elite City Metro channels 20.1, 20.2 or 20.3 immediately. Cable, satellite and fiber TV viewers, channel 21, elsewhere, please check local listings. In the meantime we have some serious breaking news to report and in which also CHQ, SRJ and STAR also received the, the alarm. the same number of personnel that who will be attending Game Jam Gaming Convention this weekend after a record turnout just in the first two days. Tomorrow will be day 3, and the event is always held at Zen Dome. That is also the place for the Game Jam Esports Beta 2019 that will take place in one week from tonight, and we want to take you immediately to Zen Dome where we meet Team K Gaming on Game TV with Ralph Katzen. For you virtual world tonight viewers we want to say goodbye to our viewers however and for those at Game TV 2 we want to say goodbye as well. And for you RDK3000 TriStar TV viewers, stand by for breaking news in the RDK3000 TriStar alert. This is an RDK3000 TriStar alert. We have breaking news to report from Roblox to pass to you that involves Twitter too. The Roblox Twitter handle has reached 1 million followers as the tweet got posted by Bloxy News just the instant it reaches 1 million mark. This of course occurred at 18.38 RDK time and 2 seconds in which immediately set off our terminals and as well as the alarm bells and RDK sirens as this during our interview with Team K Gaming. Those sirens may be heard at Zen Dome 2 at downtown Elite City. This sets off the newsroom buzzers just seconds after the initial alarm. This has also set off alarm bells at the RDK3000 TriStar Roblox Tower and we are just joined by RDK TSR from RDK3000 TriStar Roblox in which he have insight on how the platform reaches 1 million Twitter followers. RDK TSR, what with 1 million Twitter followers now? Yes, as far as I can tell, the milestone is significant. Even I just check my sources and it is confirmed to be true however we are awaiting announcement from Roblox itself as that will come very soon about the official announcement and in which they also will release a promotion only item shortly too as we await that too.
Well, the fence has been fixed and looking like things are good so far. The event outside of Roblox within 15 minutes. Gonna tune to the television at the lower floor. This has done remotely. No need the siren since I am already here. Sirens for others should have sounded already. Now we await the 15 minute countdown. One choy. Or 25 deci nudes. One just responded within seconds. Another just awaiting to respond. Oh well. Now the wait. Ryan M. Crypta, it kinda too early to head to Zendome at this time, why not wait like another hour, that's like 60 minutes, 4.1 choice or 100 disinits. It is 1800 hours, 2200 TRX or 91.6 EMT. Yes, why so early? Do you have to get something along the way? Yes, I'm gonna get some pizza at Zen Pizza's. Sambi Krita, can you do the Wolf Double Teen solo, please? Yes, I can do, Ryan M. Critter. I know how to do this. I even do have my goggles and ear protectors and I will wear them once I get onto the rooftop. I even know which station I tune to and have my RDK terminal at hand plus my devices at its mark. Even though it is early and you acknowledge you have to head to Zen Pizza to pick up your order. I have seen the bill and it sure have a good deal at a good price, small pepperoni pizza, wings, and soda pop for 7 Elios 45 Elios cents after taxes. Bear in mind they do allow cash, check, debit, illiterate pass, credit, cryptocurrency and mobile payments. I see, you have a 10 Elio banknote at hand. Have a nice ride to Zen Dome. Please place rubbish where it belongs. Recycling is available on site at Zendome. Drive safe. You too. I'll be back here tonight. Hello. Is it ready? Yes. It is ready. That will be 7 Elios 45 Elios cents. Cash. Cash? Oh, yes, 10. 10 Elios? Yes. Okay. Do you want a tip? Yes. The remaining chains. Sure. Here is your pizza, wings, and soda pop. Have a nice ride. You too.
are almost here. We're gonna make a lot of time to send down and we'll be here. Getting you done. Hold tight. This is a lane to the parking spot. There. Do I just smell pizza? This must be originated from this RDK 3000 TriStar vehicle that is parked beside my SUV, and it's not coming from Mark's or Team K Gaming's cars or game TV vehicle. Ryan M. Crypto, please be advised of the dark red SUV that is parked to this vehicle. There is a orange tabby cat in the vehicle and she is looking at us, possibly going after the pizza and wings. Keep the windows up at all times. Just to be safe, I am going to put your pizza and wings in your thermal bag so it can be kept warm and to deter the smell of pizza and wings so others won't smell into the food. Team K Gaming, Game TV hosts and Mark Zaniels loves pizza a lot so please keep it out of sight and smell of them. Okay, thanks for no notice. Ryan M. Crypto. Remember me. Oh my god, can care. Long time no see. Yay! Why are you doing here at Zendom? To see what Team K Gaming does on the event. I just went to the Hyperloop just 6 hours ago at 2200 RKT in which translates to 1300 Elite City time. Good thing they announced a price drop just the afternoon prior RKT time to 750 Kanbordi Ian credits in which translates to 10 Elitopian Elios. With the half price discount for the event, it now costs 375 Kanbordi Ian credits or 5 Elios. I even went through customs and had my passport checked upon arrival. Wow, that's quite a bargain. Also the hotels, they have a good discount. At one hotel, they are offering a room to book for as low as 40 Elios a night, or 3000 Kanbordi EIN credits, plus the restaurants, the prices are unbeatable. That must be RDK Piker and no wonder he can talk. Yes, the prices sure are the cheapest. They do even accept Kanbordi EIN credits there but be advised when paying by cash you will receive Elitopian banknotes and coinage thus you have to go to the currency exchange to convert back to Kanbordi EIN money before heading to the trip back home. Got it.
Yes. We are back. We are back with the special coverage on Game TV, RDK 3000 TriStar, CHQ, SRJ and Star Joint Production. I am Zen Sanders and this is Smith Raystar from Game TV. I am Mike Z Cryptor and this is Christina A Cryptor and Head Leader Ryan M Cryptor from RDK 3000 TriStar. And I am A Chris C Cryptor, not to mention RDK Pika and Chubby too. I am Andrew James at Star 2000, host to Virtual World tonight. I am Tracy Phelps. And this is Mark J. Phelps over at SRJ64. This is Melissa Kassenshen at CHQ and Tep Rises. We are live at Zendome tonight for the competitive gaming match that is slated to occur at 8 o'clock p.m. or 20 hundred hours Elite City time. For RDK viewers, it's RDK 3000 TriStar clock time though. 00.0 EMT and 00 hundred tracks time on this Friday evening. This in which is less than 5 minutes away. We want to present the key gamers at Team K Gaming, but first, we need to have the timer as the scoreboard timer is active, but the view is obstructed by fan posters. Ryan M. Cryptor of RDK3000 TriStar, can you do the honors? Yes! I will do it! Christina A. Crypto, can you hold my RDK terminal from me, please? Yes, Ryan M. Cryptor, I will hold it for you. Just tell me when you want to hold it. Thank you! Setting my watch, RDK terminal and tablet, and setting the timer. Four minutes at the clock, starting now. We want to present the key gamers at Team K Gaming. Ralph Kotsenshin, Captain Stefan Zanders and the newcomer Mark Zanios. His siblings including Catherine Zanios and Chris Zanios Aka Chris Z Crypter is also in attendance. A special guest, Kim Kip is also in attendance but is off camera, we are setting up an alternate camera to give a good shot of him so bear in mind of that. Yes, he is beside me and the camera has just arrived and we are configuring the camera as we speak so we can show Kang Kip in a jiffy. Yes, even I am hyped for this. My brother Mark sure loves his new beer for his 25th birthday last week so he can game in style for Team K Gaming. In fact, that camera is ready and here is a good shot of him. Yes, we are now approaching 15 Convoy Dian minutes Kilo Convoy Dian time to the event. Yes, and Thai Daisy News or 3 30 minutes starting now. This sure gives excitement, even the fans are hyped for this. Yes! This even gives me the oomph. Me 3. Sam, get the air horn ready. I'll go get the board ready. Okay. Ryan M. Cryptor. Speaking of Zen. Zen B. Critter. Who is supposed to be at the rooftop at this time doing the routines. Can you radio him? In addition, I also paged him. Good thing. Zen B. Critter, are you at the rooftop? Yes. I am already at the rooftop. Ammo. Check. You. Check. Battery. Check. Time guns. Check. Bell striker, check. Musical chime organ, check. Loudspeakers, check. Siren, check. Master clock uplink, check. Clocks are synchronized. No faults, all systems go. I am awaiting the signal at 1959.30. And I got the radio tuned in and have my goggles and earplugs plus earmuffs on. Word, Team K Gaming fans sure are really investing into the stock markets that helped fuel the surge. Gaming and technology stocks sure are red hot on the ECSX and Alito DAC. Yes, even heavy volume 2 on both exchanges. For some reason, Team K Gaming fans are into the Alito DAC. Same goes for the ECSX next door. We had the 90 tone. seconds to 99 the on the LMT. We can reach 13,000 just in time for the competitive gaming match and market close. For some reason a market alert just buzzing on my phone. ECSX and Illatodak into record high toward the closing bell. Fans of us are into the stock markets when we took a parade down the financial district earlier today. Illatodak sure is poised to reach 13k. Setup is complete just in time. Gonna put my gaming headset. At the first tone, 1959 RDKTSR. We have a mind of Second tone, okay, 2399 TRS. Ready. Arm, Third tone for verbal loading. station items. It's quite zero, a search zero, on the ECSX. Zero, 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 z
15 minutes away to the closing bell. I am well ready for this. Team K Gaming, you must be ready to. I am well ready for this. Team K Gaming. Send Sam. Make your mark. I, Mark Z. You ready? Yes. Yes. I am ready to compete in competitive gaming and esports for Team K Gaming. Signal I receive in systems are as we have This is my first time. So this sure none of you fight. You must be ready to fight. Captains and teammates. Second quarter 2019 competitive gaming zero, match zero, that is zero, zero, away to away at Zendome. Mark Zaney Elves, a newcomer is sure as wild. The ECSX closed up 625 points to 43,545 while the Otodak closed up 100 points to 13,000. We would like to thank you for watching this video. Please do not hesitate to fave, like and share and click on the bell. If you have any thoughts on the video contents, please comment below. Haters are frowned upon. Any inappropriate messages or comments in the video comments or elsewhere including the RDK social media pages including those that consist of hate, obscene, vulgar, shocking, racist, sexist, or otherwise bad is not tolerated and is subject to removal or an abuse report to platform staff if needed depending on nature. Spam is also not tolerated and is also subject to immediate removal on site. Repeat or severe violations result in punishment. If you do need to get in hold of touch please see video credits, RDK social media pages or website. Video requests please forward that to RDK Twitter pages. Tags are sorted in order of appearance per part. Additional credits if warranted in video description. Follow us at RDK TSR. This video is copyright 2019, Elite Year 1019 EE, Elite Metric Season 70 MLE, Elite Metric Year 372.3 UELE, Canboard e Year 14, Splatoon Year 4, by RDK 3000 TriStar Video Studio Productions, a division of RDK 3000 TriStar. All rights reserved, utilization and distribution of work by us without permission is prohibited, exclusions may apply. Media belongs to respective owners. This preceding video is a presentation of RDK 3000 TriStar Video Studio Productions, an RDK 3000 TriStar Video Studio Productions. This has been an RDK 3000 TriStar Video Studio Productions presentation.